Hello, and my name is Jordan. Welcome to Life and Whiskey. Today we are going to be looking at Buffalo Trace uh, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. It is a 45% ABV alcohol by volume or a 90 proof whiskey. So boom, here we go. Buffalo Trace Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. All right. Whew, it's good stuff. Good smelling stuff. All right, so this is the first time I've done a product from this distillery. So uh, we are going to run through just a brief, brief, brief overview of the history of the distillery itself. Um, so Buffalo Trace Distillery is in Frankfort, Kentucky. Um, and is owned by Sazerac Company. Uh, it has a lot of history. It touts itself as being one of the oldest in the country with the most history. Uh, it's also, uh, I looked at their website, did a little bit of research, said it was the most award-winning distillery. Um, I can't back that up, but let's say, you know, it's on their, it's on their website, so let's just say it's true. I don't know or not. Um, man, sorry. It's just good smelling stuff. Uh, so, <clears throat> uh, there was a distillery in its current location that dates all the way back to 1775. Now, it has changed names. And different companies have come in over time, and different distillers have come in. Um, but from 1775 till now, there's been a distillery in its current Frankfurt location. Um, and some of the famous names that have uh, either been the distillery name, been the distiller, owned the distilleries, you know, whatever throughout history, are ones that you would probably uh, recognize. So names such as George T. Stagg. Um, Old Fire Hopper, which is OFC, that's a brand that they still hold today, um, our previous distillery names, and then uh, the people. Uh, so George D. Stagg was also a person. Um, E.H. Taylor, Blanton, Weller, Van Winkle, um, Thomas H. Hardy. Uh, I mean, these are all people that are brands that you probably recognize um, and have heard of before. And so several of their brands that they currently own are named after uh, distinguished people from the past. Um, and uh, <laughs> funny enough, so they rebranded as Buffalo Trace um, in the near recent history here. And uh, they did not really have a Buffalo Trace whiskey even though they were Buffalo Trace Distillery. So they built all this backstory and everything, but they didn't actually have a whiskey that matched their name. So when people were taking tours and saying, hey, can we try some of that Buffalo Trace whiskey? They didn't have it, right? So the first release of Buffalo Trace whiskey was um, done in August of 1999. So that was when you could first get a Buffalo Trace and now it's their flagship uh, whiskey. Um, now here where I live, I've been lucky enough to be able to obtain this, um, this whiskey I got for $19.99, so 20 bucks. You should be able to find it for 20 to $30, depending on location, but, um, it's worth every penny in my opinion, uh, when it comes to that. Um, it has no age statement and it's a straight whiskey, which means that it's at least two years old or all the barrels that went into the blend of it are at least two years old. And I've already said it's 90 proof. <clears throat> um, the mash bill for this is mash bill number one. They don't really did, um, release what's in it, but uh, they got two mash bills at Buffalo Trace. And so this one's mash bill number one, which is a lower rye uh, than the other brands that they release. <clears throat> so it's not going to have as much of that spicy note in it. And uh, yeah, okay. So here, <clears throat> sorry, I've been nosing this the whole time, but uh, we'll get into the nose here. And some of the uh, the characteristics that I got, um, you get a look at one of the first notes. Now I have trouble picking out the fruit notes when I do a, a nosing. Um, for some reason, those seem to get buried on me. Um, but it has an apple note that I can pick out very distinctly, very forward, followed by some oak with a little bit of honey and caramel. Um, has a sweet spiciness to it that I, I really enjoy that smell. And then it fit for me, it finishes with like a brown sugar note, like a very boom brown sugar. Um, so it's all those sweeter notes that you tend to pick up in bourbons. Um, 
but they're blended together really nicely. And like for me, each time I go back to it, I can pick out a different note very distinctly. Like so every time I stick my nose in it, it's like boom, there's one one scent. And then like I go back again expecting to find that same scent and then boom, something completely different, which is very nice to me. I enjoy the variety um, that this brings. Um, all right. <clears throat> Man, it's just good. Very, very good. All right, so for me, this thing starts out with a very rich vanilla flavor. Um, kind of moves into a, a caramel, but it, it moves through that note pretty quick. Um, and then a light, fresh fruit. If I start moving into the, um, the finish on it, it go, like if I were to describe the finish from like the middle flavor through, I hit like this light fruit. Apples, pears, I don't know what exactly it is. Uh, and then it goes into a barrel spice. And that note just sits and lingers. Like it's still on my tongue now. And the more it sits, the more apple it becomes. And it's just velvety smooth, lightly oil, coats the tongue. It's really, really nice. So <clears throat> what I'm going to say about the finish on that one then is, sorry, I'm just going through my head thinking of all the different flavors and kind of working my way through the profile. So for me, <clears throat> like, I still taste this apple that's lingering for like maybe seven to 10 seconds after I swallow it. But like the rush of flavors that go into the finish just kind of go right through to me. I mean, so in that regards, it has a, a, a short finish but that the last note just kind of sits and lingers for me and it clears off. Like I said, it was oily, but it's like oily smooth on my tongue, but it, uh, it's not a lingering thing. So it doesn't sit on my tongue and just, you know, kind of coat it. It just kind of right off of it. But even now I still get that apple flavor on there. So, um, it's an excellent bourbon. Uh, I just opened this bottle couple of days ago and tried it for the very first time. Uh, I'd, I'd never had it at that point and I'm kind of ashamed that it took me this long to try it because it's an absolute excellent bourbon. Um, I would say this is an excellent intro into the bourbon category of whiskey. So if you're not a bourbon drinker or if you're not a whiskey drinker, this is something that is not very challenging. It's very light and sweet um, and it's a great one that you can sit and experiment with. It's 90 proof, so you know you might want to try and add a little water to it or something. You could bring it down a little bit, see if it opens up a little bit more. Um, I definitely think that that would um, change the profile, and if you're new to whiskey, that might uh, help you out a little bit. Um, but for a, you know, I picked it up like I said, 19.99 here in town um, for a 20 to 30 dollar whiskey. I think it's punching, it's punching way above its class. I think that it, uh, you know, I'd probably pay. $40 for a whiskey like this, um, you know, if, if, or if somebody said, hey, this, I paid 40 bucks for this, what do you think of it? I'd probably say, yeah, okay, that fits into the $40 category very well. So for getting it for way less than that or half that, I'd say this is an excellent place to start without breaking the bank. Um, and it's just a good general sipper. Like I could sit and sip on this all night and, um, you know, it would go with a, a you know, a nice after dinner drink sipper, good conversation kind of a thing. So, um, yeah, I encourage you to get out there, pick up a bottle if you haven't already. Give it a try. See what you think. Leave any comments you have um, below. Tell me what your experience has been with it um, or what you think about it or uh, or what you think about the prices of whiskey. Maybe let me know what some of the prices are. Um, how about for an apples to apples comparison? Why don't you tell me what Buffalo Trace is going for in your state or your region? Um, and then that way we have a little bank of information for people to kind of compare prices against so that way they know what they can maybe expect to be paying and whether or not they're paying too much for something. Um, anyways, I know this video was a little bit longer than the previous one, but hopefully you got some good information out of it. And um, thanks for watching and I hope you stay tuned for the next video and uh, please like, subscribe and do all the, the YouTube stuff. I mean, I'm only going to keep begging a couple of times for that kind of stuff. Um, and, uh, yeah.
Hope you have yourself a great rest of the day, and we will catch you later. Thanks again.